Hello, so next question is encode and decode string. So uh, basically you have to design your own algorithm to you know encode in the list of string or and then decode afterward. So you're not able to use the uh, sterilized uh, method. So you cannot you know improve ladder over here, right? So um so one way of doing this is straightforward like um so this is our entire input array, string, strings array. And how do we define every single word as the decoding uh, pattern? So we can use this. Um, this is hollow, right? Hollow is size of five. Oh, size of five. And then um, we can convert this dictionary into a format into a string that will help us to decode. So I can say, okay, this is size of five, right? And I put a symbol slash, and then this is my word hello. So this is one way to determine the uh, one word, right? And then you have another, which is going to be hello word. So hello word is actually the five words. Well, so I can have another pair after the hollow, right? So I'm going to say by slash word, right? So this will be your decode string format, right? So you want to decode this, and then you return the what, string, something like this, a uh, list of string, something like this, right? So uh, you encode you encode the string of words, and you decode the entire S. This is your S into the list of string of word, right? So uh, using this format, right? Basically, we keep on chart the index. After we keep on chart the index, we, we know there's a slash after the integer, right? So it could be a 25, right? So the index doesn't matter, but we know like there's a slash after the integer before the word, right? So we can know this is the, you know, uh, delimiter, right? Something like this. So let's start coding. Um, Alright, so here it is. So in this one, we convert the string, uh, sorry, the array of string into a string, right? So I have a string builder. I'm going to put SB. So I traverse the entire list of string. So I'm going to say string, string, and then string, right? So what I need is what well, I will have to um, know my current. Uh, Size is going to string dot length, right? And then I I will append one slash, and I will append the entire string. Then I will return sp dot two string. All right, so this is a pattern that we convert the list of word into one string only, right? So so now we get in this string into here. Then we have to convert this string back to this. So we will have list of string result I'm gonna call result and then I will return result right alright so uh, how do we do this uh, basically I'm gonna have index traversing the entire string so I will say I less than s dot length so I have a slash slash represent the first one so s dot index of the first one the first one at at i, right? So it's gonna be this one at i. You start this, you start in this index, and then you search this symbol. So uh, actually, I can do this. So I can have a, you know, one slash a, two slash, you know, b a, and then four slash, you know, c c c c. So I'm traversing the string array from index zero so I'm starting here I, I'm I need to find my first slash first slash at index zero so I start here to go all the way right and see my first slash then I know this is a slash so I will have to what uh, I will have to know this is the integer the size of the word so since this is only one one you know one character so you only jump one and then if this is two you want to know 
if you are at this position, you are able to jump the entire size from here to here to search for the next slash. So this is a pretty straightforward math. So if you're still confused, just draw on the paper. Alright, so I'll have I will have a size. So size represent what? The integer. You want, you want to convert to integer, right? Value of. So uh, this will be the substring. So s star substring from the index i to slash, right? So we know substring doesn't contain the last uh, integer, I mean last index, right? So it's going to be starting from 0 to 0. As an example, I was using so 1 slash 8, right? 0 to 0, because this is 1, right? So 0 to 1, so it's going to be uh, substring this only, and it convert to this as an integer. Now we know the size, right? So we can take the word, take the word from slash plus one and then plus a size. This is a size, right? This is a, this one is a size. So I will say, okay, I will become what? Slash plus size plus one. So I will know my next pattern, right? But before I do it, anything I need to what? Add the string, right? Add a string into the uh, into the result. So it's going to be slash plus one and then all the way to i, right? So this will be the solution. Submit. All right, let's talk about the time and space. So it's straightforward enough. You know, this is the encode and encode. You have independent size. You know, space independent time. So, um. For every single length of a word is all of n, and then you, you know, traverse every single string, right? So, so this is the length of the list of strings, and this is length of word, right? So for the decode, personally, I would say this. You encode, you have this amount of time, and then you append, and then you put a word in there, put the string in there, right? So this is the time and space. And this will be exactly the same thing for the decode because you have independent space, independent time. So here's the answer, right? And then this is no meaning to debug, like everything should be straightforward enough and the liquid debugger doesn't actually help you to visualize. Alright. So this is the solution. Still if you still have questions, leave a comment below, subscribe if you want it. Alright, peace out, bye.